this year has been really re revolutionary with the way um, I've approached my teaching with having now access to Chromebooks. Um, before, I've only usually had access to textbooks. Now I'm just giving them a prompt, a question, something to guide them, a challenge, and then they have to decide what they're going to create, how they're going to create it. And they have all the information they're pulling from the Chromebooks. They have different ways to collaborate and use tools together. Um, it's been really amazing. Five out of six classes I have every day use the Chromebook, so pretty much a majority of them. We write with the stylus. Uh, I like I use Squid and I take PDFs from her and I like write on them. I do my homework with Squid. And then uh, with other classes, it's more just typing. For econ, we um, we usually have like presentations that we look at and then worksheets that are also online and we just turn those in through classroom. For my advanced classes, is like some two or three times a week. Sometimes we start the class with the, the news, the French news, so they know exactly what's happening in France or in the world. So I choose clips from what is important. And it's really current, so it's not like something we read a week later or so it keeps them current on what's going on. One thing that I can do is I can I can like basically record my notes and I can basically give a like kind of a mini lecture of five or ten minutes um, on online and that frees me up in class to do other things, you know, like I we can go on like web quests or we can do group activities or we can do more differentiated learning um, in that regard. Chromebooks really it actually has made a big difference in the way I learn. Uh, for the first for starters, it makes it much easier for me to keep track of my notes, and my backpack is much thinner. I never actually lose like homework or notes anymore. I talk a lot about um, digital literacy and, and being able to create something, having a positive online presence. What can you create that distinguishes yourself from the rest of the pack if it comes to a job interview or um, getting into college? You know, so it's not just what you're not doing online, it's what you're actually creating, what kind of value you're putting out there. Even if the kids are absent, they know exactly what's going on in my class. They don't have to wait to come back to study or to look at the notes. Or even sometimes I tell my student, okay, is this your friend? Why don't you share your notes with your friend who's absent? So that way, if they want to look what we're doing in class, they have access to it right away and not wait till he come back or she come back from being sick. So to me, that is powerful. In my AP Calculus AB classroom, I am flipping the classroom this year, which means that I'm providing videos, short videos, short lessons for my students to watch outside of the class. So they use their Chromebooks or they use their phone to watch the videos and take their notes on the Chromebooks. I push out worksheets ahead of time so that way they have the information before they come to class. And what that allows me to do is do more complicated problems in a longer period of time in class when needed and have me there while they're doing it to access um, for questions. So the flip model for me has worked um, dramatically well because I'm able to push them to extend what we're learning and use more time wisely in class. Before that we had the Chromebooks, I have to wait till I got home to look up something I didn't understand or uh, something I need to do online because we didn't have computers here. But now I, if I understand something in a class, I can actually take on my Chromebook and just look it up while the teacher's talking. This is actually one of my Google Classroom pages. Um, and so typically what I do is, you know, any assignments um, and anything we're doing in class, I put here. Um, I divide it up into topics based on the different chapters that we talk about in class. So like when we were talking about the Supreme Court cases the other day, um, they had a reading that they had to read. I divided the kids up into groups, um, and the kids had to read, you know, one of these different Supreme Court cases. And then this was a shared document um, in class, and I had this projected on the screen, on the overhead, and they kind of gave me the background, um, and then they gave me the, the constitutional issue that was relevant to each case, and then we kind of talked about the decision. Did we, you know, what was the decision? Did we agree with it? Did we disagree with it? We've pretty much gone paperless, and I feel like um, it's just like physically, it's just been a lot better because there's just so much less paper, and it's a lot easier to access things, and like, uh, especially in math class. Um, Miss Linehan, uh, I mean, she kind of gives us the option, but I do everything on the Chromebook. I also like the Chromebook because the kids who are not organized can find their material all the time by doing the search and not, you know, looking their book bag. They don't have no clue where they are, where the notes are. Everything is always there for them. So I think um, for kids who are disorganized, it's tremendous plus. 
I wish I had it for college. I wish I had it for high school just because of how organized you can be. Um, I, as a teacher, am using the squid and the stylus and annotating as much as I possibly can.